Is it possible to find a Minecraft player who's mastered every aspect of the game? There's tons of players who are great at certain game modes, but what about dozens of modes on many different Minecraft versions? Well, I found a player who claims to have mastered both Bedrock and Java Edition, from PvP to bridging to even building, and his name is Jack T. Quick. Jack has killed many well-known and many experienced Minecraft players, but does that mean anything? Is he really the most complete player? So to test him, I put him up against 11 other players in their best game modes to see how he'd fare. And the first player he'll face will be the toughest. Because it's me. Jack will have to face me in Hive Sky Wars, a game I've played since the minute it was released. All right, Jack T. Quick, are you ready to die? I, I, don't, I don't know if I don't know. I think you're dead, me personally, but that's just I me. actually don't know. Okay, no, let's go, let's go, let's fight, dude. This is my mid chest, by the way. Actually, Oh my god. Oh, you might be dead. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think you're dead, actually. How did that work on me? How did you know where all the chests are, bro? Oh, he's got a fire sword. Get me out of here. Oh my god, bro. You're a billion pounds right now. <laughs> I don't know, oh, oh yes, it so might be fire, over bro. for me. It's over. Ooh, GG. GG. With Jack beating me, he takes the first out of 11 rounds against the YouTubers. And since he just beat me in Bedrock PvP, I wanted to see how well he'd do at Java PvP. So we hopped on Java 1.8, where Juno was ready to fight him. Even Good luck. Popper ever, bro. Right. Dude, I don't play this game anymore. <laughs> this is Juno, a once God PvPer turned YouTuber. Come on, Jack. Come on, bro. Over the years, he's killed many experienced and respected Minecraft players. I'm gonna do some styling on you real quick. Hold on. Oh, the fake pearl? And now Jack has to face him in a staple of Java PvP. No debuff. Oh. Got a little aggro pull going. Nice. If Jack oh, T. Here, Quick though. wins this, there's a parade in the streets. Yo, doing a boxing combo. Yo. Pack showcase, pack showcase. That's insane. I didn't say anything. Yo, oh, no. pack showcase, guys. Yeah, now this is a 11 pot. Oh, where did I look? The hell? Oh, oh, I don't know why you ate there. Why bro. were you eating, Jack T? I, I didn't right, have any eating, eating there. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Even though Jack lost to Juna, I was still very impressed by how well he did, which got me thinking. We've seen him PvP, but what about bridging? So I got Digital Smile, a very experienced Minecraft Java bridger, to race Jack and see who bridges faster. All right, Jack T, quick, get three good bridges in. Whatever your best time is, that is what Digital will have to beat. Got it. Uh, that was just like a six four five zero. Right now, six four is your best. You know, like it just uh, six point two. That's your best run, digital. You have to beat okay. six two. All right, good luck. Yeah, Jack kind of got destroyed in this one. And to be fair to him, bridging isn't his biggest strength. But you know what is? Crystal PvP. So for the next round, Jack will face a Crystal PvP pro, Rasplin. Ooh. Oh my god. The anchor spam is real. Oof. GG's. Oh okay. my god. The comeback was Raspin. I lost all my totems. I was like so scared. Yeah. And with that, Jack ties up the score going into round five, where I didn't necessarily want to test his skill, but more so his knowledge. So I gave Jack five questions to see how many he'd get right. 
but I had to give him a worthy opponent. So I got one of the smarter Minecrafters I know, Potato Pie, to answer the same five questions. Whoever gets more of the questions right will earn the point for their side. Jack T. Quick, it's time for trivia. You just have to get more right than Potato Pie. So uh, good luck. Here's the got first it. question. Which mob was added to Minecraft first, a snow golem or an iron golem? I feel like the logical answer would be the iron golem, so I'm going to go with snow golem. I'm pretty sure this is the answer. I'm going to go with this. That Ooh. is correct. Correct. That is correct. Second question. When was Minecraft Nintendo Switch Edition released? I'm pretty sure. I, I think it came out before that. That seems like a little recent. Not gonna lie. I'm, I'm gonna go with this. Okay, then 2017. Okay, you're right. Third question. You got two right so far. Let's go. How many items are in the Bedrock Creative Inventory? Is it 1550 or 2010? I think it's probably this. Go 1550. 1550. You're right, yeah. Potato Pie. It's 1550. Wow, okay. How much did Microsoft pay Notch uh, for Minecraft? 1 billion or 2.5 billion? I feel like it was more than a billion. I think it was this. Uh, I'm going to go with this. Ooh! Uh, 2.5 billion. You're correct, Potato Pie. Since they've both answered everything right so far, it comes down to this final tiebreaker question where whoever's closer gets the point. How many subs do I have exactly? Um, 157,326. 178,740. Like, all right, and just like that, Jack takes the lead in round five, but it's not even close to over because there's still six more YouTubers he has to face. And honestly, this next one is not looking good for him. Jack will have to fight Jitter, who is a godly bedrock mobile player. But here's the catch. Jack will have to fight him while also playing mobile. At the first block? Right <laughs> Jack T. Quick, look up. Yeah, he look just, up. He's, he's just uh, running yeah. past. All right, chill. No, 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 no. Jack I got it. Quick, I don't think you're... Jack oh. Quick, I think you've lost. No, 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 uh, I got this. No, it's literally mine. No, it's you're... in grass. No, no. It's in grass. Oh. This is gonna be so close. This is... <laughs> 360 no scope. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Good shot. Good shot. Oh my god! Oh. Yo! Oh. He I'm killed gonna... Jitter! Oh, if he's really good, he'll let me score twice. If he's I don't, confident. I don't think it'll matter even if he does. <laughs> How you doing, Evan? I'm doing good. Oh my god, Jack T. Quick's about to score. Oh, never mind. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> never mind. Yeah, GG's. GG's, yeah, GG's, guys. So yeah, obviously Jack was going to lose that because he's never played mobile. But I think Jack will do a lot better in this next round because it's raw bedrock PvP. But don't get me wrong, it'll still definitely be a challenge since Jack's opponent will be Corruption, one of the top bedrock PvPers. Oh, it's disgusting. Why do I have job animations? Oh. Oh. oh, never mind. Keep this combo. All right. Oh, you got that one. Oh, wait. Yo. Yeah, you win. You win. You win. Jack D, quick. <laughs> He's crazy, bro. He's crazy. Bro, you... It is GGs. literally a running fast. Yeah, yeah, GG's. And now Jack is back into the lead going into the next round. And since we just did Bedrock, I thought it'd be a great time to switch back to Java. And what better to do than play one of the staples of Java PvP? Bed Wars. And for this round, I got Ben B Gamer, one of the upcoming Minecraft creators. Ben has way more experience than Jack in Bed Wars, so this is definitely going to be a big challenge for him. All right, let's go. Let's go. I'm actually curious to see how this is going to go. I just froze. Oh, oh, that's tough. Ooh. Yes. That's all right. You got it. Damn. Oh, I, I think it might be over. <laughs> that's what I'm oh, you lagged. I did lag. Where are you going? Oh my no. god, he's he's out of here. Yeah. A little bit louder. I oh. knew it. Oh, GG. GG. So now the score is tied up once again. And while Jack couldn't best a Java PvPer, he might be able to best a speedrunner. But not just any speedrunner. He'll be against the worst speedrunner I could find. Turbo Piggy. So apparently there's some there's some news, Jack T Quick. That apparently you are not subscribed to me on YouTube. I'm not even signing into my account right now. I 
Uh -huh. I just changed hard drives. I haven't even been in my computer. Uh, my monitors are off right now. I'm kind of just clicking my feet. This went how you'd expect it to. They both did the normal speedrunner things until they reached the nether, where luck was heavily needed. Oh my god, yes. I just found the fortress. Dude, dude, what the heck? Where is it, bro? I'm struggling so hard to find any type of fashion right now. Like, I don't think I saw you find the fortress yet, so hopefully, hopefully I I don't found I don't find it. No, bro! Oh my gosh, you're kidding me! I might have found another I might have found another bastion. Yeah, this is this is this is really great. Yeah, this is a, a very unlucky navigation. That's all I gotta say. Evan, and how are we doing? I'm doing fine. Jack T, quick. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean it. You know what I mean. Spawn has been set, Evan. Chat, how did I find two treasures, dude? And I literally was at the bro, fortress, right and I went the wrong way, bro. So, yeah, turbo quit, which automatically gives Jack the next point as we move into the second to last round. One of the key elements of Minecraft is building, and in my opinion, you can't be the master of Minecraft without knowing how to build. So, I tested Jack's building skills by putting him up against Danny as the bomb, who has built this, this, and even this. You will have 10 minutes to build build the best house you possibly okay. can and when i say go you may go three two one go i think i have a game plan i just need to um not suck you know so here's my uh here's my little layout here i don't know if i'm going too big here i'm not gonna lie i hope not i feel like i am oh i don't know what i'm gonna do for this that looks pretty good the brain's cooking. Brain's cooking right now. And while they continue building, it'd be a great time to mention how I'll be rating their builds. I'll be rating them based off of three factors. The interior, the exterior, and the overall creativity. Anyway, they continued building their homes until the time almost expired. Have to see how this goes. No idea. But... This house is so empty, bro. There's nothing in it. Three, two, one easy which one should i look at first we have this one or this one let's Mine's do this so one plain. first this is so nice bro. i think this is yours i would guess it's a nice little so. modern house we got a nice living room with a grass carpet here love that sure, i'll it's, give it's, the it's interior something. like a six it's it's furnished it's very lightly yeah. furnished i'd say i like this thing too i like the garage door we'll give the exterior We'll give it a six as well. And creativity. Oh, okay. We'll give it a five on the creativity. Yours definitely looks better from the outside. The outside but the inside know. has nothing Yeah, there's in no it. inside. Danny's yeah. exterior is a 10. Danny's interior is a zero. You know what? I'll give you a nine for the creativity. Those are the final so scores. So you won, Danny. I'm pretty sure... Yes, sir. Uh, Danny's Dude, the bomb I one. And it all comes down to this. Jack has to win his final fight to solidify himself as the master of both versions. But this will be far from easy as his final opponent is the toughest out of everyone else up to this point. Jack will have to beat the 1.20 PvP god sharpness. Will Jack rise up and prove everyone wrong or will he fold in the biggest moment? Oh. oh. Don't stay in my combos, kid. Oh, sh he's got me here. <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm dead. Ah! Jeez. <laughs> one, one. If I wasn't a as shaky, I think I'd do better. No, don't, don't. Hey, it's not over yet, Jack. Yeah, no. It's about to be. No, I'm low. Yeah, no. This one is going to be lower. pretty close. GG. Yes. And so, Jack falls just short of beating the YouTubers. Click either of the two things on screen to go check out Jack. He's a goat. And thank you for watching.